Imagine a condition so strange that it convinces people they no longer exist. This was the haunting reality for a patient in the 1800s, known as Mademoiselle X. Under the care of the French neurologist Jules Cotard, she believed she had no organs and was immortal, leading her to starve herself to death. This bizarre belief is part of a rare psychological disorder known as Cotard's syndrome. Understanding Cotard's syndrome. Cotard's syndrome, also known as walking corpse syndrome, is a perplexing condition where individuals experience severe delusions, believing they are dead, do not exist, or are decomposing. This rare disorder was first described by Jules Cotard in 1880, and it remains one of the most mysterious afflictions in the realm of psychology. The symptoms of Cotard's syndrome vary widely, ranging from mild lethargy to extreme debilitating delusions. Those affected may deny their own existence or claim that their internal organs are missing. In severe cases, this belief can lead to alarming behaviors such as self-neglect. Patients might stop eating or taking care of themselves due to their conviction that they are no longer alive. This range of symptoms makes Cotard's syndrome a complex condition to understand and treat, challenging medical professionals to look beyond conventional psychiatric methods to help those suffering from this disturbing disorder. Named after its discoverer, the syndrome was initially observed in patients who were profoundly depressed, which is why it is often associated with other mental health disorders such as schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. Today, understanding and treating Cotard's syndrome requires a multidisciplinary approach that addresses both the psychological and physiological aspects of the delusion. The Psychopathology of Cotard's Syndrome The causes of Cotard's syndrome are as perplexing as the symptoms themselves. Researchers have identified several potential triggers for the disorder, which include neurological conditions such as brain injury or degenerative diseases that affect the brain's ability to process reality. Psychiatric conditions, particularly major depressive disorder and bipolar disorder, are also commonly associated with Cotard syndrome. In some cases, the syndrome may even emerge following adverse reactions to medications, which can alter brain chemistry and lead to delusional beliefs. A key aspect of the psychopathology of Cotard's syndrome involves disruptions in specific brain areas responsible for facial recognition and processing emotions. These disruptions may contribute to a person's distorted perceptions of self-existence, leading them to believe they are dead or do not exist. This misfiring in the brain's recognition systems can make patients feel detached from their bodies and external world, reinforcing their delusional beliefs. Understanding these underlying mechanisms is crucial for developing effective treatments for those suffering from Cotard syndrome. It also highlights the intricate connection between our brain structure and our perception of self, which can profoundly impact our sense of reality in dramatic and sometimes disturbing ways. As we continue to study Cotard syndrome, it becomes increasingly clear that the human mind is capable of extraordinary things, both wonderful and terrifying. Case studies and real-life examples, exploring the haunting realities of Cotard's syndrome through case studies, reveals its profound impact and varied manifestations. This rare delusion presents itself in startling ways, as illustrated by historical and modern cases. One of the earliest recorded instances reported by Charles Bonnet in 1788 involved an elderly woman who, after experiencing a paralyzing episode, insisted she was dead. She demanded to be dressed in a shroud and laid out for her family and friends to mourn. Remarkably, even during her own wake, she continued to adjust her shroud and complain about its color, highlighting the complex interplay between her physical actions and her delusional beliefs. Her delusions temporarily subsided after treatment with a concoction of precious stones and opium only to recur periodically. In a more contemporary example, a patient identified only as Ms. Lee believed she was dead and complained of smelling like rotting flesh. Her conviction was so strong that she requested her family take her to a morgue to be with other deceased individuals. 
Instead, her family called emergency services and she was admitted to a psychiatric unit. After a rigorous treatment regimen, Ms. Lee showed significant improvement, demonstrating the potential for recovery with appropriate medical intervention. Another poignant story comes from the late 20th century involving a Scottish man who, after a motorcycle accident and subsequent head injury, believed he had died in the hospital. His relocation to South Africa with his mother further entrenched his delusional belief as he interpreted the intense heat as a confirmation that he was in hell. This case underscores the syndrome's ability to warp personal interpretations of environmental cues. These cases highlight the severe impact of Cotard's syndrome on daily functioning, often leading to drastic behaviors like self-neglect or refusal to eat, rooted in the belief of being dead. The condition not only distorts a person's self-perception, but also significantly impairs their interaction with reality, making social relationships and self-care exceedingly difficult. The bizarre and often tragic nature of this syndrome challenges our understanding of consciousness and the brain's interpretation of existence, pushing the boundaries of psychiatric and neurological science. Diagnosis and Treatment Diagnosing Cotard's syndrome poses significant challenges due to its rarity and the complexity of its symptoms, which often overlap with other psychiatric disorders like major depressive disorder, schizophrenia, and bipolar disorder. This overlap can confuse the diagnostic process, making it difficult for healthcare professionals to immediately recognize Cotard's as the underlying issue. The syndrome's elusive nature means it often requires careful psychiatric evaluation to differentiate from similar psychiatric conditions. Treatment for Cotard's syndrome varies, but typically includes a combination of pharmacotherapy and psychotherapy. Antidepressants and antipsychotics are commonly prescribed to help alleviate the severe depression and delusional symptoms associated with the condition. In some severe cases, electroconvulsive therapy ECT has proven effective, especially when traditional medication does not yield significant improvement. This treatment approach is often tailored to individual needs and its success heavily depends on a comprehensive understanding of the patient's specific symptoms and overall mental health. The importance of a multidisciplinary approach in treating Cotard syndrome cannot be overstated. Given the complex interplay of neurological and psychiatric factors at play, treatment often requires collaboration between neurologists, psychiatrists, psychologists, and other healthcare professionals. This team works together to develop a treatment plan that addresses both the psychological and physiological aspects of the disorder, aiming to restore the patient's sense of reality and improve their overall functionality. Theories and debates. In recent years, theories about Cotard's syndrome have centered on the idea that it may involve significant dysfunctions in brain regions responsible for recognizing and processing bodily existence. Research suggests that abnormalities in the parietal cortex, which plays a crucial role in integrating sensory information to form a coherent sense of self, and the prefrontal cortex, which is involved in higher cognitive processes, including self-reflection, may contribute to the delusions characteristic of Cotard syndrome. These dysfunctions can distort a person's perception of reality, leading to the belief that they are dead or do not exist. Ongoing research is vital to unravel the complexities of Cotard syndrome. Neuroscientists and psychiatrists are increasingly focusing on neuroimaging and pharmacological studies to better understand the underlying mechanisms of this condition. For instance, studies using advanced imaging techniques are examining how changes in brain activity correlate with the severity and specific symptoms of the disorder. The goal is to identify potential biomarkers that could aid in more accurate diagnoses and tailor treatments more effectively. These studies not only aim to develop more effective treatment protocols, but also strive to deepen our understanding of how Cotard syndrome manifests which could lead to breakthroughs in treating other related psychiatric disorders. As research progresses, 
It continues to shed light on this profoundly disturbing, yet fascinating disorder, moving closer to demystifying its origins and improving outcomes for those afflicted. As we conclude this exploration of Cotard's syndrome, it's evident that this rare condition is not only a profound psychological anomaly, but also a window into the complex mechanisms of human perception and mental health. If you found this journey into the depths of Cotard's syndrome fascinating, don't forget to like and subscribe for more insights into the strange and astonishing aspects of human psychology. Share this video to spread awareness and increase understanding. Your engagement helps us bring more such content to light. Thank you for watching.